everyone and welcome back to fam sims today i'm teaching you guys how to download the sims 4 sim ripper so you can extract your sims from your saved game and import them into blender this is a really easy tutorial it's not that hard to download it and install it so yeah click the link that i will provide in the description it will take you to mod the sims and you will be taken to this page that's on the screen you can read all this but it's just the basics of what to do with SimRipper. One thing I can say is that if you import your sim into SimRipper and it doesn't work or if like the skin isn't working or something isn't working, check back at the website and make sure that you have the most latest like the latest version and you don't have an old version. Cuz sometimes when the game updates, you know, that can mess with SimRipper. So you have to come back to the website, make sure you have the latest version and all that. And I will be dropping a tutorial on how to do Sims 4 renders. That'll drop maybe a day or two after this tutorial drops. So make sure you stay on the lookout for that. And yeah, I'm going to teach you how to download it now. So once you're on the website, once you're on the webpage, where it says description, you want to go to the right of that and click files. You will have two options, two zip folders. We do not want this one at the bottom. Those are just source files. We don't need those. The only thing that we need to download is this zip folder. So click this one. And then once you click it, it'll start downloading to your computer as a zip folder. Once it's fully downloaded to your computer, it will show up in your downloads. Then you will right click the folder and go down to extract all and then press extract. And then now it's a regular folder, not a zip folder because you can't really do anything with zip folders. You always have to extract the files from the zip folder. And I know that um, this is different for like Apple computers. I'll link a tutorial down below how to extract zip folders on Apple computers because I don't know how to do that. I have a Windows. And I'm pretty sure that this sim ripper works on Apple computers as well, so you don't have to worry about that. But once you extract the folder, click on the regular folder, click on this one again, and then you have all of these crazy files, these DLL files and all that. You don't touch those, all right? You don't touch those files. You just want to scroll down until you see TS4 Sim Ripper, and right here, it says application. It doesn't say application manifest, granny rig file, it only says application. So once you find that, you just want to double click on it, and then this will show up. Windows protected your PC. This means nothing. All you have to do is press more info and then right here press run anyways just wait as it um loads up so yeah when you click on sims 4 ripper it will show broken or outdated pieces of cc that you have in your game right here that it says i have a piece of cc some baby hairs and it's broken i still haven't taken it out of my mods folder because i'm lazy but you can use this as a tool to you know take out broken pieces of cc outdated pieces of cc and stuff like that but yeah, if this shows up, that's not a problem. It just means that it's just a piece of broken CC in your game. And then if you do end up taking the broken pieces of CC out of your game, it won't show up once you click on Sim Ripper. So that's how you fix that problem. But at the end of the day, it's not really a problem. So if this shows up, just press OK, OK. It depends on how much you have in your game. Because if you have a lot, then you'll be pressing OK for a long time. And this is Sim, The Sims 4 Sim Ripper. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to show you guys how to use this in another tutorial. Which will drop maybe the same day or a couple days after this tutorial drops. And that tutorial will be on how to do Sims 4 Render. So make sure you look out for that. Subscribe with notifications so you get notified when that tutorial does drop. Make sure you like this video and comment any questions down below. And I love you all so much. Goodbye.